What's up, guys? We got another video from Cyrax. He's telling us all to stop being lazy. So, let's figure out what the fuck he means. You know, everybody here on YouTube and all of social media wants to know why I'm not making real money like I should be making. I'll tell you why. Because of you stupid ass fucking trolls that are lazy as fuck that want to make a quick buck. That's why. And you use other people to fucking do it. Wow. No one's wondering why you're not making money. Uh, the audio here kind of proves why you'll never make money. God damn. You guys are lazy. You have no drive. You don't want to do proper fucking business. The business you do do is shady and stupid as fuck. And it's not honest hard fucking work. While I'm out here working my ass off trying to get that money, trying to make a fucking living for my motherfucking family, what are you guys doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all you're fucking doing. I don't give a fuck if these videos make me look like shit. These videos where I talk like this and I call you motherfuckers out, I don't fucking care if I look like shit. I don't fucking care. You can try to use it against me all you want. But at the end of the day, you guys know you're lazy as fuck. And you use other weaker fucking people to do it. And that's fucked up. You use weaker people to get what you fucking want. And that's bullshit. While I'm out here working my goddamn ass off, trying to make ends meet for my family, trying to get my fucking businesses back up and running that you dumb fucks have taken away from me, while I'm out here hustling and doing that, what are you doing? Sitting on your ass on a fucking daisy up your goddamn fucking ass, twiddling your thumbs, worrying about how you're gonna fuck with the next fucking victim? You guys are a bunch of losers. Every fucking one of you that sits there and does that, you're a fucking loser. Well, you know, you're kind of the biggest loser in the fucking world, so it's not really insulting when you call people losers and lazy. But, you know, you're a hypocrite. Let me tell you something. Back in the day, before you dumb fucks ever came into my life, any of you dumb fucks ever came into my life, Marty, Gloria, any of you guys, before any of you ever came into my life, you know what I was doing? I was running a multi-million dollar clothing brand. Selling all over the world. Doing good for myself. But you know what happened? You dumb fucks happened. I was doing good. I was selling to people over in China. I had did double sales in the UK. Sold a bunch of clothing here in the US. All over the world. Was doing good for myself. But then when you dumb fuck retards came in and started fucking with me, Marty, that's when I had to put everything on hold, and that's when my business fucking crashed, because you guys sat there and did what you fucking did. It's probably obvious to everyone watching, but I'll just say it in case there's anyone else naive watching. Uh, he never had a multi-million dollar clothing brand. He never had fucking anything. No one ever screwed him out of anything. He's just a delusional idiot. And not just that. But because of somebody coming in to the site that I was going through at the time, I was literally one of the top sellers on the site called RayJohn.com. I was one of the top sellers. I was making over 150 grand a month. You guys got in my way from making sales. Now, the only reason why that site got shut down is because somebody decided to break into it and sell something that wasn't actually their fucking brand. They had stolen like some big famous brand that caught on to it and the whole site got, you know, shut down and revamped to where nobody can make a store on there anymore. I was one of the top sales people on there. I was one of the top clothing brand creators out there. 
And you know what kept me from keeping that shit going and from starting shit back up? You guys. Why? Because I had to hand all the money over to my family to be able to pay bills for a few months. Wait a fucking second, Cyrax. Because I thought you didn't make any money. But now you made all that money and you had to give it over to your family. I thought that's what you wanted to do to begin with. It almost sounds like you're completely full of shit with everything you fucking say. I had everything set. I had a life. But what did you motherfucking trolls do? You came in and you fucking ruined it. For what? Money, clicks, and views. The content you guys create is fucking garbage. All you do is sit on line all day and you fucking terrorize the fucking weak. And these people that you terrorize, they're not weak. You guys that do the terrorizing, you're weak for doing that. The people like me that you guys fucking victimize and maim and dehumanize, we're not the weak ones. You guys are weak. Voting somebody shows weakness. Tearing someone down shows incompetence. Jealousy. That just shows you're fucking lazy. That shows you ain't got the fucking drive to do shit. You know, you guys talk about making big money and this and that and the other. I've shown all my proof before. Prime example, my fucking Twitch. Content creating, doing good. Hit affiliate, did real good. Had a couple sponsorships starting to take me on. Was doing great. Made 111 bucks that month. On top of what was already in my cash out that I was doubling up from other stuff. I was doing good. I was on my way to building my shit back up to where I should be. But what did you guys do there again? You came in and you fucked it all up. Cyrax, making $112 on Twitch one month over a year ago is not success and was never going to be. Why? Because you're greedy. You're jealous. You can't stand to see a weird old motherfucker like me who's actually business smart, who knows what the fuck he's doing. You can't stand, stand to see a weird old motherfucker like me actually do good. So you go around and you make up lies to put a stop to careers. You sit there and unlawfully set someone up to be a pedophile and then their life then gets ruined. Why? Because you're fucking lazy and you can't stand to see that person succeed. So what do you do? You run your fucking mouth. And you talk all this shit. Well, let me tell you something that I've learned coming up in business my whole fucking life. My whole life was spent around hard work. When I was a kid, I didn't just have shit handed to me. I had to work my ass off for it. Everything I have right now, I have worked my ass off for. Except for a few things that friends gifted me out of respect for me hustling and grinding. But outside of that, everything I've gotten is done by me. Well, that's obviously bullshit. Because you've never had a job and you've never had money. So you couldn't have worked hard for anything. And I don't think doing chores for Sally to afford your big boy presence really counts. Why? Because I'm smarter than you motherfuckers. I'm actually fucking smart. And you know the one thing that fucking gets me, huh? That's how you all sit there and say you want somebody to change, but you don't want to leave somebody alone long enough to fucking change. And then when they do start to change, you pull them back into where they used to be. 
That's fucking stupid. Y'all drive souls need to get off your fucking asses and stop having this bullshit and hive mentality. Because that hive mentality ain't gonna get you nowhere. That hive mentality is gonna leave you in the same spot you were 15 fucking years ago. Broke, lazy, and not going nowhere. Me, I'm out here hustling and grinding every fucking day. Every day, I'm hustling and grinding. You can ask my friends. Every time they call me up, yo, what are you doing, man? What's up? Working on new shit. What are you doing? Not much. Hey, dude, what's going on? What are you up to? Working on a brand new game. No one wants to ask your friends how hard you've been working. Adults don't have to ask other people how hard other adults have been working. It's evidenced by the fact that they work hard and produce shit. You don't do anything and you produce absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, hey man, what's going on? What are you up to? Working on a brand new clothing idea. I'm always doing shit. I'm always hustling, always fucking grinding. While you guys are sitting there on your fucking asses all day, doing meh, 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 I'm out here busting my fucking ass. While you children are sitting there on the internet, going, ooh, let's fuck with this guy. I'm out here working hard, motherfucker. Yeah, I might not have direct true internet, but guess what? That still ain't stopping me. Cut off my internet, fine, hook up through VPN, boom, dark. Time to get back to work. So, you completely don't fucking understand at all the reason why your internet has been cut off. You think it's just to make it harder for you to get online? Make it more challenging? Like this is a fucking game? So you stop doing this shit, you asshole. Doing band off Twitch? Fine. Head over to Kit. Get shit rolling over there. Report on Facebook for real fake. Alright, cool. Made a new one. Boom, done. Report my YouTube channel. Okay, boom, make a new one. Got a whole bunch of others on backup. Let's fucking go. I'm always on the fucking grind. Always hustling. Always working my ass off. You dumbass trolls that sit here and terrorize people need to fuck off. Because all you guys do is terrorize and attack and bully. That's all you fucking do. Because you're lazy as fuck and you can't stand yourself. You can't stand the fact that you ain't got the business smarts that I fucking have. Well, maybe if you shut your fucking mouth, open your fucking ear holes, and actually listen to people around you, and actually take in business smart people like I have, you might actually learn a thing or two. You gotta say you work, right? No, you don't. None of you motherfuckers work. Half of you sit in your mommy's basement, chugging on Mountain Dew and watching dumb fucking old ass videos of me all day, trying to think of how you can fuck with me in that. I mean, do I even need to point it out? He's sitting in his mom's attic chugging a fucking Fago in a filthy shirt he's been wearing for several days. Who the fuck do you think you are to judge anyone, you fucking monster? You wanna know how I know you don't fucking work? Cause if you're working, you ain't got the time to be fucking around on the internet and bullying people, dude. If you're truly out here hustling and grinding and working like y'all say you're doing, you wouldn't have fucking time to fuck with people. That's how I know none of you motherfuckers work. That's how I know none of you fucking work. You gotta make a quick buck off of somebody's humiliation and anger and stress and then being attacked rather than sitting there doing something good for yourself. 
There's a reason why I'm fucking respected by a lot of people. It's because unlike you guys, I'm not fake. I'm not lazy. I believe in good old fashioned hard work. Cyrax, no one, and I mean no one, respects you. You are not hardworking. You are the laziest, stupidest motherfucker to ever grace the internet. Now, if y'all are the ones watching this that does appreciate what I do and enjoys my content, I appreciate the fuck out of you. I really do. But if you're one of these other dumb motherfuckers out here that troll people, fuck you. You're lazy as fuck and you don't do shit. Now, if you guys would like to see me make real fucking money and show you motherfuckers how to fucking do it right, sit down, shut the fuck up, and buckle up, cupcake, because guess what? You're in for a fucking ride. Because I can show you guys how to make real fucking money like I used to. And create the content that I create. And do what I do. I told you, man. You follow my fucking steps, and you do what I fucking do. You follow the formula of what I'm doing, I can promise you, within a month to two months, you'll have over 100,000 subs easily. Maybe a little bit less, but you'll be right up there in that bracket like I've been. I guarantee that if you follow Cyrax's advice, you will never make any money, and everyone will constantly shit on you because you'll be a monster just like Cyrax. So hard, so you little fucking one of me hard asses. Sit down and shut up. Cause none of you are business smart. You're lazy as fuck and you're looking for a goddamn quick buck. Well guess what? Quick pleasure dies fast. Chasing quick money disappears quickly. And that's the truth. Chasing quick money leads to quick pleasure, which leads to a very quick end. Now, If you want to learn how to do what I fucking do and make money, I'll be glad to show you. I'll be more than happy to show you how to do what I fucking do. Connect with the people that I connect with. Do the shit that I do. Doing whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you right now, happy trolls. Won't last a fucking day doing what I do. Because none of you have the drive or the skill to actually be successful like I've been. So I suggest you don't have trolls, strap on your little retard helmets, throw on your little fucking seatbelt, and bump the fuck up. Because guess what? I'm coming back business wise. And I'm not going to really stop. And I'll show you motherfuckers how it's really fucking done. So sit down, shut up, and pay attention. Because I'm driving this bus, and we're going for a little fucking ride. Right, awesome. So Cyrax is just going to show everyone what he can do. And he's definitely going to make a fool out of himself some more. And we love to see it. Always. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.